Without a doubt, in our day and age so far, there has never been a time when the world had to adjust and adapt to change faster than the year 2020. And especially in a country like ours, Nigeria, things were not funny. Back in the days, we always heard stories of job security and having a consistent salary paying job being the ultimate goal in life. But all that changed when the pandemic stroke. Now people no longer rely on just one source of income, which by the way is the best way to live. Unfortunately enough for you, that is what we talk about on this channel. So that might be a reason for you to subscribe to this channel. So now to address the elephant in the room, what is income? So here is a definition according to Google. Income is the revenue a business earns from selling its goods and services or the money an individual receives in compensation for his or her labor, services or investments. So just from that definition, we could tell that income could be defined in so many different ways. And from it having so many different definitions, it simply tells us that income is divided into different types. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the common types of income, what they are, how they work, and also how you can be able to start earning from them today. So the first one on my list is active income. So this is a type of income or source of income that most of us live by. This could also be considered as the first stage of income in almost every type of venture. In this situation, people exchange their time for money. In other words, you are actively working for your money. You drive or go to work every single morning. You work from eight to five or nine to five, depending on where you work, or maybe you work from home or whatever it is that you decide to work from. Whatever the case, you actively exchange your time for money. An example of this is an employee. You work for an entire month and then you receive your reward at the end of the month or maybe some at the end of the week. So that is to show you that even most CEOs and COOs or maybe whatever they decide to call themselves are still employees because they actively exchange their time for money. Or another example which is currently kind of more popular in our society which is a freelancer. A freelancer is someone who works independently with clients but also only receives their pay before or after the work is done. I'm not talking about people like assassins here, which still implies that they exchange their time for money. There are so many more examples, but I assume by now you kind of get what I'm trying to say. So the next one on my list is profit income. So the best way to describe profit income is when you buy something for a lower amount and you decide to sell it for a higher price. The gap between the amount that you bought it for and the amount that you sold it for would be a profit for you. So that is the best way to explain what profit income means. And this type of income is commonly known in physical markets, like maybe when people buy something for a lower amount, you know, they put it in their shops and they increase the price a little bit and they earn something as a profit from that. And in other cases, since we're in the 21st century right now i could say there are also online ways that you could be able to earn profit income an example of that would be drop shipping maybe for drop shipping you kind of get an item that someone sells for a certain amount so you take that item and maybe build a website for that design it well so people will just you know want to buy that so you add the amount maybe increase the price of that item and people buy it so you earn a profit from that amount that people bought it from you I think we might say this is the second most common type of income that is after active income, even though this is kind of active as well. And the next on my list is passive income. So most people think that passive income is just easy money coming in without you having to do anything. But you know, to counter that kind of mentality, let's read what Google has to say about passive income. Passive income is money you earn that doesn't require you to do a lot of active work to continue making it. In essence, you can do most of the work upfront and puts in some additional efforts along the way to earn an income. So that is to tell you that you would have to be actively doing something at first before you can be able to set and automate things that will bring in the passive income for you later. And that is something that people really don't like to hear about passive income because, you know, it's almost the same as active income at first before it becomes passive. So you need to put in some work and some examples of passive income could be affiliate marketing where you'd be able to help someone advertise and sell their products for a certain commission. So affiliate marketing could be manually you trying to help your friends sell something and, uh, you know, receive a commission for that. And also it could be automated where you just share links with people when they buy, you earn a commission. 
And the second example is selling digital products. Maybe you have a book that you wrote, an ebook, or maybe you kind of have some, you know, courses, online courses that you created. So you just automate everything, put some auto response emails. Like maybe when people just make a purchase, they just receive the ebook straight to their email and a lot of stuff like that. And the next one could be a rental business. Like you own some estates or maybe some buildings and you just rent it out to people. Like you won't have to actively be doing anything. Like you just rent it out and people have to be paying you like, you know, for rent. So that's that's kind of a passive way of earning as well. And the last example I have here on the passive income on my list is starting a YouTube channel. Yeah, I know when you start a YouTube channel, you have videos ready up there that would be making you money eventually without you having to you know, be going back to those videos, even though you, it's advisable for you to be checking the videos from time to time, you know, like uh, testing different thumbnails, testing different titles, like doing a lot of things. But yeah, YouTube is also a passive way of making income as well. You could also add your affiliate links there. You could also add links to your digital products, your online courses and everything. And now moving on to the last type of income on my list, which is the investment or capital income. Investment or capital income is money or income earned from financial assets it could be from dividends or it could also be from capital gains an example of that could be stock market maybe you buy a stock when it's very low and you know when it gets up there it gets high you decide to sell it and you remove your profits so i know some of you might think that this is almost like profit income but no you know for profit income you set the price that you want to sell it at but for investment income you just bought the assets and let it be until it's high enough for you to sell or maybe you earn from dividends for holding the stock. And the next example is venture capital. Maybe you just decide to invest your money in someone's business or maybe in kind of a potential business within your area, within your locality. You just saw someone doing a business and you decide to invest your money in that. Maybe you now earn a certain percentage of that business or that company. So when it gets bigger, when it grows up, you know, you'll still be earning that certain percentage from that business. So that is what venture capital is. And another example is crypto, buying and selling crypto that is trading or investing in crypto. So you know cryptocurrency, I don't have to explain that to you. So like when you buy and sell in cryptocurrency, it's the same thing. You buy for low and you sell high, or maybe you kind of do a lot of different things like NFTs and stuff like that. And other examples of investment income could be bonds, sukuk, and a lot of other financial assets that you could be able to buy and also sell for a profit. Let me know if you have any other income source or maybe type of income that you want to share with us. Go ahead and share it in the comment section so we can all learn from you and also help each other in the process. And thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you want to watch more content about personal finance and personal branding, then this is the page for you. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there and I'll see you in the very next video. Peace.